Live like Memorex, or live from Memorex. Okay, folks, uh, just a quick video here. Looking at, of course, a radiator. That radiator is easily probably 100 years old, if not a little older. Put in this house sometime maybe around the turn of the century, 1900. Back before then, they would have used uh, wood stoves, I'm assuming. So anyway, uh, this is a project that is, you know, talk about patience. This is a project that is 15 years in completion, even though you see, you know, a lot of disruption, no floor and everything, that, that's coming. But here we go. Steam radiator, single pipe, and we have a vent, and they work on venting because steam has, a, has to have a place to go in order to enter this radiator, escape, so the radiator itself actually heats up. So that's a steam vent. That's the old steam vent, probably original 100 years ago. So here we go. All right, so yeah, isn't that cool? Okay, so that's the old vent. Now, at the time we bought this house in 2005, we went through all of the radiators with the advice of our steam professional guy, uh, Fred Austin, go Fred. And he actually went through and uh, helped us, actually I think he did it, he replaced all of our vents with more functional vents that are adjustable so you can actually balance your system and make sure that heat is evenly distributed through all these radiators. So with that being said, this one here was our seventh and final radiator, and when I went to replace that vent, the drywall was in, we had wainscoting that went from there down was in, and we could not turn that vent. So that vent never got replaced 15 years ago, so today the vent gets replaced. And voila, 50, now that's patience. 15 years later, the vent goes in. Yay! <laughs> Here, oh, get the smile. Yay, there we go, Jen. All right, cool. How these radiator, or how do these vent, how these vents work? If they're adjustable, and there are a lot of different uh, styles, but this is called a Hoffman, I believe, you know, whether it's the company or the style. And basically that top, and you see uh, vent holes in there, that top actually spins off. It's a screw that uh, retains that secondary sleeve there. That sleeve has a numerical system on it. I think you can see it right there. And that'll slide. And what that'll do is, if I can actually loosen that. Actually, you know what? I can't loosen that. And once I get that loosened, I can actually show you. But here you go. 15 years in the making. Contracting and homeowner patience. We are here. Okay, I was able to get this loose after a little bit. And so how this actually works is if you loosen, there we go. If you loosen that up, that'll just come right off. Like, don't want to don't drop it like so. So here's what you're looking at. If I remove this collar, you see that, of course, you, you get the threading hole, but you get the steam vent uh, opening right there, and that's where the steam is going to escape. And if I put this collar back, and so you see that in this setting, that would be wide open steam. So this allows steam to escape very, very rapidly. But as you close, as you rotate this clockwise, then that offset uh, opening in the top sleeve actually then starts to close that hole up until finally that hole would be completely closed and that should be about setting zero or something like that wherever the zero is and so this is how that works the idea behind steam systems and that's probably about where we would be then you would take your top screw or your, your top retainer which also has notches for steam venting because of course uh, the steam has to also then escape out of this as well so you do that and if it's loose enough and you know what your settings are you can actually get that and I think one is where we want it anyway so that's fairly tight so that's steam venting and we were recommended that you always use the adjustment on a steam vent itself with a single pipe system if I had a double pipe system, you'd see a pipe down there. We do not have that. But looking over here at the vent, we were told by our steam guy not to use that valve for for like fine adjustments. If you need to close this radiator completely, or if you open it, you open that three quarters, almost full, and then back it off just a little bit. 
but you never actually use that to adjust your radiators. That's pretty much just your on or your off and it should be almost full open. It's really about using these vents. And these vents are meant to balance your system. And so if you have a room that's relatively cold, you want to have this more open. Rooms that are relatively hot, you want to have that more closed. And what you do then is, depending on how many radiators you have, you simply just get your system balanced to where steam is going where you want it to go, as opposed to uh, only in one particular or just two particular radiators because it's the easiest place. Steam will go where it is easiest to go. That is our steam radiator. That's one right there. We do actually, in the addition, I can walk through here really quick. We have, a, a, it's not brand new of course, it's probably a hundred years old itself, but we have a new radiator uh, to us. It's not installed yet, so we just have it on cardboard so we can move it around, but that'll be installed later. And we'll also have a radiator in our laundry room over there and our new kitchen downstairs. Downstairs will also have steam heat as well. So we'll end up having 10 radiators running steam and so far so good. Everything is actually working well for the house and we hope our boiler will actually support the additional uh, three radiators. If not, we'll just upgrade the boiler here in a year or two. Well, that steam heat just uh, amazingly 15 years of patience and a project finally completed couldn't believe the day i tried to t twist that off and realized that by installing the drywall and installing the wainscoting i just did not have enough room to actually rotate that valve off so there you go very very happy that we are completed there